The S1 Stereo Imager can be thought of as a stereo processing toolkit for use in mastering and multi-track recording sessions. It can be used to correct faults in a stereo recording or to enhance the stereo field of a mix. Waze provides an intuitive graphic interface for S1, making it easy to drive for the first time without the manual in hand. In addition to our tutorial, you should definitely read the manual or peruse the user guide included with this plugin to gain further understanding of its processing potential. There may be multiple instances of S1 in your plugin selection pulldown. We are using S1 48 Shuffler, which has all the bells and whistles except IDR. All S1 instances are stereo only plugins. Let's check out the interface. The most notable feature in the window is the stereo vector display. It shows nothing in regards to the input signal, but it does show the output positions of the original left, center, and right sounds. It also shows an accurate picture of their changed levels in dB. It does not show the effect of shuffling, but only gain, width, asymmetry, and rotation. Shuffling happens later in signal flow. Gain, shown in decibels, adjusts the overall gain level of the plug-in. Width allows you to considerably adjust the width of the stereo image. Values greater than 1 widen the stereo image, as values less than 1 create a narrower soundstage. Asymmetry is unique as it doesn't affect central mono signals that are in phase, but affects the left and right audio signals. Since it doesn't change the center image, you are able to center a stereo mix without moving the mix off center. The rotation control. This allows us to adjust the centering of the entire stereo image without any effect on relative sound levels in different parts of the stereo image. This can also be used as a pan control for true stereo sound sources. Note, you can click and drag between the asymmetry and rotation faders to control them in a linked fashion. This gives the plug-in a separate stereo balance control. Shuffling increases the stereo width at bass frequencies to help compensate for the fact that our ears perceive stereo effects to be narrower in the bass frequencies than in the treble frequencies. This effect does not introduce unwanted phase artifacts between the two channels. Waves suggest settings between 1.6 and 2.5. The frequency control ranges from 350 to 1400 Hz and controls the frequency below which the shuffling effect is increased. The left-right middle-side input button toggles between accepting standard left-right inputs or middle-side inputs from a stereo microphone technique of the same name. This process requires decoding due to the nature of its technique. Middle side recording uses a stereo microphone capable of MS encoding or using a cardioid mic facing forward and a bidirectional facing perpendicular left and right. The mono output of the bidirectional mic is split into two channels and the phase of one channel is flipped 180 degrees. This can be done with a mixer and three channels, a phase reverse switch, or a special mult cable that achieves the same purpose. Make sure to search MS in the locator glossary for a complete definition. S1 also can do this, but it's much easier. Below this button is the left-right swap and phase reverse buttons for comparisons and fixing material with combat audio heroics. The bass trim adjusts the level of the bass when the plugin is active. Higher shuffler settings may require a 1 to 2 dB bass trim boost to compensate for bass level shift during the processing. The output meters are equipped with infinite peak hold indicators that are easily reset by clicking on the meter display. The meters can display left-right output or middle-side output. You can control gain, rotation, width, and asymmetry directly from the graph. Click and drag up or down to change the gain. Click and drag left or right to change the rotation. 
command or control click and drag up or down to change the width. And command or control click and drag left or right to change the asymmetry. Let's illustrate the controls on a mix. If you are not listening in stereo, please do so to hear the full effect of this example. S1 is a powerful plug-in for stereo positioning and enhancement with an MS decoder thrown in the toolkit as well. Make sure to check out the user guide for even more information on S1.